Hi everybody, today we will make a random color generator with JavaScript. Let's get started. First, we create a div with wrapper class and id wrapper id. Then we create a div for random colors and give it a color div as the class name. And we give it color div id as the id. This is for JavaScript. And now we are adding paragraphs. The heading. And subtexts. In the paragraph you see here. The hex codes of the randomly changing colors will be written. For this, we, we provide the color string value ID. Color string value and Now let's move on to CSS. We give the body a background color. And change the font family. Nonito. Now let's set the wrapper class. Its width will be 600 pixel. And it says it will be 500 pixel. We give the position absolute to center it on the page. We give 50 persons from the top and left. To fully average this, we give minus 50 percent of the x and y axis with transform translate. Background will be a color close to white. And border radius 1.25 RAM. Let's shade the edge with the box shadow. Now let's set up color div with the div with random colors. Give a border radius of 1.25 RAM to round the top left and top right. And background colors. It's 330 pixel. Now let's add a style to the heading. A text align center to center the text. The front weight will be bold. There will be a 30 pixel margin from top. Margin top 30 pixel. Zero on the right, bottom, and left. Color dark gray and font size 1.5 RAM. That's it, a style to the subtext. Text align center margin will be zero. 
pixel and padding top zero pixel padding but zero pixel we make the color dark gray 3e and we increase the font size 1.11 and padding left 25 pixel and padding right 25 pixel now we add a style to the paragraph written by random colors we use the text align center to the center of the paragraph font weight will be bold and margin top 12 pixel right 0 bottom 0 and left 0 and padding top 0 pixel right 1.25 ram bottom 0 pixel and left 1.25 ram color will be dark gray and font size 1.2 ram sorry color value it's it's okay let's move on to javascript first we create the get random color function Here we create the letter survival. Here we write the hex code values in order. Since there is a hash symbol at the beginning of the hex code, the values in the letter survival will be randomly next to the hash symbol in the loop we created and this will turn into a color. And hash symbol. We create a for loop and the initial value will be 0. Since there are 6 characters in the hex code, it will return from 0 to 6. And the index will increase by 1 until the loop ends. The values created until the loop is finished, we are added next to colors. For this we added the matrandom method into the matflow. Matflow and matrandom methods. Since the matrandom methods returns a value between 0 and 1, we multiply it by matrandom by 16. Because there are a total of 16 values in the hex code. It returns values between 1 and 16 and return colors. Return colors. Now let's add them to the page. Now we first created the random color value variable. Let's random color value. We added the on click method to D which has the color div ID. Documents get element by ID. Now let's write our function. We equate the random color value variable that we first created to the get random color function. Then we have two actions to take. The first is to equate color div id to random color value. Mm -hmm. 
This is because the background color changes when the function starts. The second is the print the newly generated color value to color string value. Color string value. For this, we equate color string value to random color value. We use inner HTML for this. And there it is. I hope I've explained the function. Now let's check how it works. Oh, sorry. And as you can see, it's working properly. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you.